Gundam.tk presents Advanced Grade Zedora. Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert184, two R's, two B's from GundamReviews.net, and thanks for joining me today as I take a look at the Advanced Grade 1144th, the Zedra or Zedora, which is, of course, going to be Zayhart's follow up suit to the Zedis R, which is the follow up to the Zedis which was released in advance grade, but now it's time to check out this guy in all of its, I'm sure to be very red glory. 2012 release for this kit, and the familiar advance grade price of 600 yen. From Gundam Age Advanced Grade 1144th, this is number 12 in the series, and you can see the name there in English and Japanese, of course, from Bandai. And with the ZSR getting run ragged, it was time for Zayhart to upgrade, and so the Zedora is the result of that. Of course, he needs a mass to keep it running for some reason, but anyway, there's a high-grade and advanced-grade version. This one is going to cost 1,300 yen, so just a little over double. For the box tour, you can see some in-stats, in-game stats there, and you can also see that there's a lot of color to this guy, and it comes across really well in the high-grade. I don't think it's going to come across like that unless you paint it up like a pro as it is here on the side of the box. You can see all sorts of colors around there. Some information about the pilot, Zayhart Galette, Thierry Arde, and the Tri-Age game. You'll be getting a card inside, of course. And after the appeals to go play the game in the supermarket, this is the thing of interest to me, the block build system, where you can see that it's going to have a black inner frame, it looks like, that may even extend to the head. Red for everything else and a little bit of clear green, but don't expect any nice orange or yellow details. Inside the box, you're going to be getting the Tri-Age card, gauging chip clear green, and a black plate, and then pretty much just right in this bag to go along with the instruction manual built into the bottom of the box. Here's all the plates laid out, and you can see that there's A1, 2, 3, 4 to go along with the B in the clear green, and I was missing a few parts, so crack your boxes open earlier and check them out before you, if you have the chance before you buy them. The A1 plate is unique here because this is for the Zedora and the Kronos, it says, as spelled out here. You can have the legs, of course, this is going to come in black for the Kronos. Two parts there for the head, and there is this extra little part which fell off to go along with the waist section and the chest, which is going to have that all-important hole there, which you can use the clear green part for. A2 is just for the Zedora, and you're going to have some shoulders and some arm-looking things there. You may actually have a little bit of inner frame show through with them, although not very much, just at the elbows, perhaps. And with all of these limbs kicking around, I was thinking maybe this is the day that the advanced grade has a moving part in terms of legs, but it's not going to be today. You have the A3 here only for the Zedora and just four large parts, which are going to combine to make the two legs. And then A4 is going to be very familiar for anybody who's been building Vagan or UE suits to have the old tail. The B plate, I think, is even more interesting than the red ones, though. This is listed for the Zedora, but you can imagine that that's not going to be there on the Kronos. And you are going to have this part here, the black is going to show through for the actual body when you put the clear green parts around that. The elbows are designed to be shown off, you may see a little bit of shoulders as well. You do get a head part to go inside the red, which is great, no green seal sadly for the Vegans trademark eyes. And you are going to have black hands down there, which is very cool considering that all the UE suits should have those unique Vulcans down there. And these ones are actually going to be done in a different color. And finally, it's CL4, which is different from what we're getting in the high grade, but you can still see it's going to look pretty cool. Hopefully it's going to make that black, or the black underneath will make it look pretty good. Some silver paint or seals underneath, I'm sure, would bring it to live with a little bit more luster. Anyway, it's still great to see clear parts like this. It's really going to draw the eye, despite the fact that it's a relatively inexpensive kit. But like with all advanced grades, the Zedora gun here is incredibly thin and flimsy looking, although it does have this part to attach it on. 012 for the gauging chip here, and some pretty cool looking cover art there, very very colorful, sadly we're only going to be getting the three in terms of plastic here. And when he's all put together you're going to be getting the redder than red, well redder than Char's pink anyway, and at least it's not all one color like the Zetis. You can see that you're going to get just a little bit of black up there in the shoulders, the waist, the hands, and the elbows, and that clear green part on the front is certainly going to make a big difference, and to have that black part in the middle of the face, even though there is no green eyes on there, at least it's a little bit on the more interesting side of the Vagan slash UE AGs. No articulation whatsoever for the lower body, and because you've got those wings on the back, you're not going to get too much there with the hands. If you want to arm them up, all you have to do, you can put this in either hand, but it has to go in this way if you want this part up on the top. For comparison's sake, how about the AG Zetis here, which was the predecessor, and I suppose that this could be Dezel's, or it could be Zayhart's R, or it could even be the mass-produced one, because you can see here what you're going to get when you just get a monocolor AG, and what a difference it is to at least have the three over here, 
on the right side or on the left side. In terms of height, this one's just a little bit taller and certainly it's not going to have as big a body there in terms of the fuselage, if you want to call it that. Next to the two color Gaffran, you can see what the difference is and that you're going to get the three colors here. But over here, you're at least going to have them all spread out and it's going to look a lot more high grade-ish, at least from a distance. Next to its high grades counterpart, and remember you can check this out on Gundam.tk, you can see that in terms of height, the head heights are going to be just about equal, the shoulders are pretty much, you can see that the proportions are nearly identical. The big difference are going to be in the size of the gun where you actually have one here that's three-dimensional as opposed to this one which is two-dimensional, and this one is missing the sword slash tail. Posing for this guy, as for most advanced grades, is going to consist of, well, this one, and you're not even going to be able to move the wings back there to make them look more aerodynamic. Which is going to lead me to a verdict that you can guess that this one is probably a pass for most people. There's not really too many reasons to pick it up. If you're going to be buying the AG Gaffrans, you can just add to your army and have more and more for a reasonable price. Even this one, which I really wasn't a big fan of because it is just the one color, is growing on me because all of a sudden we've got mass-produced ones. And if you wanted to add some yellow trim to this, you could certainly bring this guy alive. But for the Zedora, at least in the second generation, being the leader of the bad guys, for 1300 yen you're just going to get so much more in terms of posability colors and everything else out of this high grade, that unless you want to be at the supermarket playing the arcade game, I don't really see too much of a point in getting this. Now that could change third generation as this will probably become a mass-produced suit similar to the way the ZS did, and at that point it may be a lot of fun. And it does have a few positives, like the fact that it's actually got three colors in there. You could even do some things like chop out some silver foil and put that under there, and just generally add it up. Better than most, but again, I don't know if it's worth uh, importing and paying those extra price for. But in the end, that's just me, so why don't you let me know what you think of this review, and of course the mobile suit, character pilots, high grade, the ZSR, anything else that you want to talk about that's Zayheart related, please let me know with a comment down below. What do you think? Should this be a pass, or is this not a bad one? I think we'll probably have to wait the full 50 episodes to have the full verdict, but in the meantime, I would much rather pick up the high grade, and you probably will as well. Anyway, everybody, Robert184, Gundam.tk, great to have you here to cover everything from AG, HG, and everything up, including the Master Grades. Could we be getting a Master Grade of this one day? One can certainly hope so, so that we have a lead antagonist to go along with the protagonist with the inevitable Master Grade Age 2, and I can't wait, and hopefully we'll have two on the shelves, including one, a Master Grade of the Zetus is growing on me more and more in terms of my desire for that. Anyway, everybody, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Isn't it sad that I have to wait to become a grunt before I'm actually going to have any value as an advanced grade?